My name is Doug. I'm a product manager in the lighting group here at Banner Engineering, and I'm excited to show you a few specific lighting products that have become popular in the material handling space. I'm going to start back here on our demo board with what we call a TL70 tower light. And now this is not a revolutionary uh, type of technology in the industry. It's a 70 millimeter modular tower light, but what differentiates this tower light from our competitors is our ability to increase supply chain savings for our customers. Now you'll see that this segment up here says 14 colors in one segment. And that's very powerful, right? Because you can use dip switches to control up to 14 colors. You can even in uh, choose intensities and, anim and animations. For example, with one specific material handling customer, we were able to reduce their tower light part count from 22 different parts all the way down to four because we have a single base that works with all of these different segments and in addition, and in addition to that, a single part number for this 14 color segment. So in contrast to ordering different part numbers for each color, the customer was able to standardize on just those four part numbers. In the same way, many material handling customers have found uh, what are called Andon tower lights to be very effective in their processes. This is a plug and play solution that lets customers implement easy uh, operator or supervisor status uh, with quick mounting and integral switches. So this is, again, a plug and play solution. It allows you to uh, give an operator the opportunity to very immediately indicate status at a workstation, for instance. We can even outfit these Andon lights with the TL70, and we have wireless versions of the TL70, which means that you can push that information back to the cloud and uh, provide data analytics analytics for your machines or for your for your operator stations. And with that, I'm going to head back to the uh, table here to show you a few of our other uh, what we call pro products. Uh, now, uh, many of these products are traditional uh, banner products. You'll see anywhere from a 90 millimeter indicator down to a 22 millimeter indicator or actuator. Uh, like I said, many of these technologies are what we call Pro, and Pro, Pro is a technology platform that includes three different programming types. And those three programming types are Pro Editor, PicIQ, and IO Link. Now, indicators have become very popular in, on material handling mobile robotics, for instance, because of their durability. Uh, in many cases, these devices are fully potted. They're IP69K. Uh, in one example, we had a customer who was hammering on our 30 millimeter actuator to see if they could break it and they were unable to uh, after repeated tries uh, but just goes to show you the durability of these devices so they can be used on things like conveyors or like I said mobile equipment or in other areas where they're going to potentially take a beating. Uh, we have many different types of actuation technology so a few of these that you see here are capacitive touch which means that there's no physical force required to operate but we also have uh, fixed field devices, which are photoelectric sensors with an indicator integrated into the device to allow you to uh, send an output from an operator's status and also indicate that status back to the operator. In addition to that, we even have uh, pro strip lights. And uh, to be clear, the overarching theme of pro products is the utilization of RGB LEDs and a microcontroller, which allows us to achieve any color, animation, intensity, uh, anything that the user would be looking for in their device status. So in this case, I've got a strip light, and this is a product that's offered anywhere from six inches all the way up to four feet. And you can imagine how this would be an effective device to be used for uh, uh, movement indication on uh, ad automated guided vehicles or any type of mobile robotics. So for instance, I can show multiple different statuses on this device. And I can even use different programming methods to change those statuses. So again, with the Pro Editor software, I can write an entirely different configuration to this device, deploy it discreetly, or I can control it with IO-Link or PicIQ dynamically. With that, I'm going to move over to our conveyor setup that we have here. And as you can see, uh, there are many different types of both photo photoelectric sensors and array type sensors here. And the item that I'm interested in showing you is actually the little indicators that are connected to these sensors. So in the past, if you, per, for instance, had a jam on your conveyor or you had a uh, sensor that was buried in your machine, for instance, 
there was not necessarily an easy way to see where that sensor was or uh, exactly what was happening with that sensor. Well, the S15 is an inline indicator. It connects to standard M12 cord sets. All of the uh, pins on this device pass through, which allow you to s operate the sensor as normal. But when this sensor is activated, it shows you the output status. So again, if you have a sensor uh, buried in a sorter machine, for instance, and you, ne you can't necessarily see the output status, but you know something has either gone wrong in that machine or needs or, or there's something that needs addressing, you can go to the indicator rather than to the, to the sensor that might be difficult to access to see which specific sensor is displaying that um, specific problem. So with that, I want to move back to our demo board and show you one last class of products, which are considered task lights, or you may refer to them as illuminators. Now you'll see many different form factors on this board. Uh, these are all going to be single color either white or alternative color devices. A banner can illuminate any surface from 15 feet above, above the plant floor, floor all the way down to a couple inches from an operator station. And the reason for all of these different form factors is to accommodate different types of industrial environments. So if you have potentially a harsher environment, we have lights for that, all the way up to uh, fully potted IP69 lights that can withstand high temp and uh, very demanding conditions. We also have more economical lights that can be used in panels, for instance, but are still very bright, very functional, easy to mount, and easy to integrate into existing machine hardware. Uh, so that's a quick overview of the task light product line. And with that, uh, that completes uh, the, the lighting products that I was interested in showing you today. And like I said, these are products that have become very popular in the material handling space because of their durability, their ease of use, and in many cases, these are plug-and-play solutions.